Welcome to the market wrap for the month of May. Lee Martin joining Peter Walter from our Bar and Heads team, Zoe LePage in Ocean Grove, and of course, Cal Lowther down in St. Leonard's in Dennett Head and Port Arlington. Now, welcome to you all. It has been a busy month, 18 sales across the company for the month of May, as well as eight under contract. So plenty happening, which will see that sales activity rise to probably 25 sales for the month, as well as 34 new listings. So good news for buyers, there is some choice coming to market. Peter, I'll start with you. What's been happening in Bar and Heads? Thanks, Lee. I'm here at 5B Coogee Court. This is a fabulous three bedroom townhouse with park recreation at the end of the court and only moments to the main street. It is perfectly positioned. With a number of exciting listings on market and coming to market, we have the auction at 15 Punt Road. Auctioning on the 18th of June, this is a solid three bedroom brick veneer home set on a unique 644 square metre allotment favouring zoning for development or opportunity to build a substantial sized home. We also have the launching of Bridge Apartments. To be auctioned, we will be launching the apartments in the coming weeks. Architecturally designed with spacious indoor and outdoor living, they are located in the heart of Barwon Heads. There are six apartments in total with three varying floor plans. Notable sales was our Expressions of Interest campaign at 2A Talbot Street. With five formal offers submitted, the property then did sell under competitive bidding for a fabulous result. We also had three properties sell pre-market, so meaning selling before hitting the internet. So for buyers out there who can't find what they're looking for online, please reach out and have a chat. We can help you find something, but we can also keep you well informed of what's actually coming to market. Yeah, great to hear, Peter and Zoe. What's been happening across in Ocean Grove? Thanks, Lee. Well, it's been an action-packed May in Ocean Grove. We've had two very significant sales in Piers Crescent, one at 2.7 million and the other at 3.3, both with amazing reviews, of course. And in Oakden and Kingston, we've had several sales between 750 and 850 for a small style home, one in Mowbray Drive, Curzon Drive, Sunbeam Street, and of course, Daintree Way. And in terms of new and exciting listings coming to the market, we've got two interesting auctions coming up, one in Capri Court and the other in Older Barron Road. So keep your eye out for them. And back to you, Lee. Yeah, thanks for that, Zoe. Kel, St. Leonard's in Dennett Head, Port Arlington. Looks like there's a bit happening. Thanks, Lee. And it's been another fantastic month here in 3223. Some excellent homes hitting the market recently. 14 Ocean Miss Court, St. Leonard's and 9 Dossiter Road, St. Leonard's. Each very unique and striking property is in their own right. There's also been some excellent results. 1241 Murdoch Road, St. Leonard's, a lovely Californian bungalow receiving a price of 787500 Back to you, Lee. Yeah, thanks for that, Kel. And as for what Tom and myself have been up to in Drysdale, Curlewis and Clifton Springs, it was a fantastic sale, one to 29 McKernan Street, two and a half acre property, beautifully renovated homestead. It was on the market only three weeks, which for what's going on in the market, is a really short time for an acreage property. That sold just above the asking price for 1.6 million. And for brand new listings coming up that we're really excited about, we're standing here in Point Lonsdale in the Point Estate. We've brought one Ironbark Street to the market, which was just across the road from where I stand here. So a fantastic lifestyle. It's only a 12 month old home on a nice low maintenance block. If you're looking to get into this township, it's one of your most entry level options to do so. So if you've just heard, listings are starting to outweigh the amount of sales. So sellers, it's probably a really good time to ensure your home is marketed really well. So embracing both a print and digital media strategy, presenting your home for sale. So if that means getting a painter in or a landscaper in to give yourself that edge when you are on market, which strongly suggest you do. And lastly, pricing your property based on recent sales in your area. As buyers get more choice, we're not gonna see those crazy outcomes that have made up the last 12 or 18 months. If you do those three tips, I'm sure you're still in for a good experience. As always, thanks for watching. We look forward to joining you in June.